Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Hanotak and we are playing Europe on the Solace 4 with the newest DLC, Rule Britannia, playing on very hard as the Dutch. Welcome back. So a couple of uh, provinces will actually become self-sustaining. Um, during this month, like we have Chippeway and which will become self-sustaining and will belong to New Luxembourg. Um, they already built a ship over here, um, which I kind of like. Managua will probably become self-sustaining. We'll go to Colombia then. Um, as should this. Really kind of interested in taking all those. Um, and then we also have a couple on the African coast. Like um, we have our enemy in this war marching down here. I'm actually not sure if I really need to go for 100% war. So definitely we'll take the coast. Um, gotta keep my... Gotta keep my aggressive expansion here in check. I, I can take tons of stuff, actually. I just take this. But what kind of coalition would I get? Noop and Mali. The question is, how are the states in this area? I have no idea how the states run. Regions. Okay, so... These four... Oh, this belongs to our our Guinea uh, Guinea region. Okay. So I need these four, um, and then maybe all of those and these. I'm not sure. Um, so come again. Maybe we'll do this and that instead. Just trying to find a uh, combination that makes sense, really. Um, let's have a look. So these are one state. Um, Oyo, Noop, Pindinga, and Iari. These are a state. This is a state. I mean, I'm already going to make a state out of it, but still, I kind of like to expand along those lines. Just makes the most sense. So, okay. Once again... Um, This, maybe? I think this makes the most sense. It leaves all the other stuff that we don't want, and it gives us, like, two full states um, that are pretty decent. Let's have... Just make sure that we don't, like, forgo any gold. Um, we have dyes down here, tropical wood with slaves. Mm. I think this looks good. I think this looks pretty decent, so we'll like take this area. We don't need Moshi. We'll get that state, we'll complete that one, and things are gonna be fine there, I think. So yeah, I think I think that's what we'll do. We'll take this and some money. Okay. Mali in a coalition. Sure. I mean that is that is gonna cost me some some uh, stuff to core. Like, that's going to be a lot of coring that I have to do. Okay. Like this. Um, I do 65% overextension at this point, which is not horrible, though. Um, move these guys down, and I kind of want to go after the Congo um, as soon as possible. Mm hmm. <laughs> So this is Dutch now. It's Dutch reformed, which is pretty nice. Uh, we have all our three colonists over here in Africa. Kind of not sure if I'm too happy with that. I think I'm going to pull all these guys back. Like, we we've locked this down in any case. Kind of want to send a colonist down here, Luanda. So we'll do that. We'll take Luanda. A bunch of these colonies are going to expire, which is... The reason uh, why I'm doing it that way. We'll give this to Colonial Colombia. So this is all Panama. Yeah, I mean... Britain has kind of iced us out of this area, so that's just how it goes. So we'll take that one. And then I will actually try to like get a Mexican colonial nation up there. Just to make sure that that is a thing that we can uh, make. Oh, 
Okay, Castro is self-sustaining. That's good. That takes a lot of the pressure off. We definitely want to change these now. And I think we take Gustavian Tertio. Actually, Reform Tertio is nice. It's more defensive. Don't really want the offensive pips all that much. Hmm. That's Gustavus Adolphus' way of doing things. I kind of like the defense a little bit more. So we'll do that. Um, corruption is growing, but only for a little while. That is fine. We have 29 ships, which means we could actually add some troops here. Maybe, like... Uh, we'll, we'll do that. Might build two units. Gotta cool this whole area. We'll come down. We should have uh, a lot more trade power now on that node. No, only 36%. I guess we gotta core it first. Um, does this provide me... Yeah, we need 51% of the province trade power in the region to become a dominant. Gonna be control 30.7. So I guess we'll want to make this a little bit stronger. I think once we once we have that, once we have Ngoyo, we're fine. Oh yeah, I mean, I haven't given them any of these provinces either, so... That's probably also not helping. Mission fulfilled. We did something. Assemble an army. Um, what do we need? Have an army equal or larger than 80,000. Okay. That gives me manpower recovery speed and army tradition. Sure, I'll take that. And that is also done. Unite home region. Gives me hegemonic ambition for 25 years, reducing the autonomy. Beautiful. Very nice, I take those bonuses, because why not? Why the hell not? So we definitely gotta take the cape. We will go to war against Spain uh, from the looks of it at some point. You have Moravi as an ally. I don't think that's all that important. Let me have a look at the trade goods. These guys could have... There's some gold to be had over in Kilwa. Actually, there's tons of gold to be had in Kilwa. I think we definitely want to take out Kilwa. They are allied with the Mamluks, but do I care at this point? I don't think so. So what we'll do is we'll like try to make a big land grab over here, taking out Kilwa, which is almost as good as controlling the Cape, I'd say. And we'll give us a bunch of we'll give us a bunch of gold, which is beautiful. Like having gold, very, very good. Okay, yeah, you guys, um come over here. Sure. We'll, we'll ferry these guys down with the ships. Okay, let's do that. Bring them down to Gabon. Good, good, good. Making tons of money at this point. I mean, we're going to see a couple of new colonies um, jump up, so that's... Mm, do we just want to go for it? I mean, we're settling down here. But I don't see what would speak against that. So, like, the sooner we do this, the sooner we can start to integrate and do stuff. Nupa, Nupa has been kind of cut down pretty hard. So, how's the religion? Okay, these guys are Sunni, which is going to make it difficult to actually convert them. But we'll, we'll do our best here, I think. Um, we also captured a fort, which I like. So, Benin... Already has the fort, the thing with the estuary. That makes me pretty happy. Mm, yeah, let's take the Congo. Let's take the Congo. No real need to wait here. Just gonna be a bit aggressive. So we'll take Nyongo. Nyongo actually does have a uh, fort as well. Level 2 fort, so castle. That's totally fine. So let's take Nyong'o. Um, we will also take out our fleet. So Muyamba is already on our, our occupation. All right, good. Bonnie is producing ivory now. This is now under our occupation. Sure. I already have 
chance that this falls right away with up to 40 percent we're blockading it we have like tons of stuff oh damn it yeah i'm in the sphero influence of that fort we'll just merge up our army again cologne is fighting oldenburg i mean we have with some hefty consolidation going on in europe glad that we managed to cut out our own netherlands while this was still possible now it will be pretty difficult actually not sure what we're going to do with Münster. I guess we can try to do something there. Still need to take out Trier. Which is going to be rough. Is France going to come in? Yeah, sure they are. Screw you, France. I mean, at least Spain isn't Defender of the Faith anymore. That's pretty nice. What are these guys doing? Oi, what do you think you're doing? Yeah, we have another treasure fleet from New Flanders. Great Britain. Okay, very good. We got this now. Why are you sending troops? Why are these troops even going? I have no idea. Oh, these guys are actually decently strong here. All right. Let's see how it is. I'm gonna flee. Interesting. Just thought these guys were pushovers, but apparently not. Hmm. Seems like it's time that we activate our infantry ability. Maybe in our discipline. So what we'll do, yeah, we actually lost that whole that whole thing. Where are you running to? Holy hell. Benin, really? Okay, then. Tell you what. We'll leave these guys here. We'll send the transports up and get these guys from Benin. That should be fine. Okay, we'll continue to siege it down. Bring it, guys. We don't have the ideal composition here. Diplomatic moves. We can plus diplomatic relations. Um, okay, then let's not have... Savoy can march through our province if they want to. Sure. It's all right. Nope. I actually want military access through our lands. I mean, I don't think so. No, I'm sorry. I mean, that's your fault that you made that peace deal that cut you off. I can't help you there. Um, let's have these guys get on the boats again. Encroachment of the nobility. Hengel. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, with noble rebels. That sucks. Oh well. Gotta deal with them. We'll take him out. We'll teach him some manners. It's not too nice to encroach on our lands. Okay, we'll have these guys get into the harbor. So we have a bunch of heavies in here, that should not be a problem. Our general Lawrence von Vorst is a glory seeker. Okay. Kind of do want to wait until we reinforce over here. These guys can bring a surprising amount of power. I like it. Chip away and is now self-sustaining and went to New Luxembourg, so that makes sense. Mm, we have no free colonists, because that's kind of another thing. Holy cow, eh? these guys can bring a ton of troops. It actually looks like I have to bring some more troops from Europe to make this a thing this is this is by no means a done deal interestingly enough so let's come back to flanders so they took back loango they apparently they're not interested in attacking me in here i can take out these 1k and i think i will And uh, I'll, I'll just try to, to pick off their smaller groups. And 
And now we'll try to take out these groups. Managua is self-sustaining, beautiful. And this now belongs to Nuvolonia, because that's how it should be. Um, so if these two, what, what did I do with my third colonist? Where's that third colonist sitting? Honduras, Mosquito. Oh, Luanda. Yeah, sure. Um, I think we recall that guy in Luanda. And I think we'll just try to lock this down. So let's go for this. It's uncolonized land for now. So let's just make that happen. That will go to Nuvolonia, which is fine. At some point, we'll want to increase the size of Nuvolonia by going after British Columbia. But I guess that time is not now. Maybe we don't need troops from Europe. We're actually doing decently well here now that we've our fighting power increased. I'll try to take these guys on as well, and then I can actually take uh, out those 21k. Yeah, like, I mean, we have decent morale, but we have a bunch more um, discipline than they do, 15% more, and our infantry is also doing, like, 30% more damage now, which should really hurt them. Okay, our statesman has died. Hugo Grotius. Sucks. Um, what do we do now? That is the question. Morale of navies. Kind of don't want that. Spy network construction is kind of useless. Gonna kick that guy out. Kick out the level ones. See what we can get. I can't I think we actually take the attack on these guys. Cork bottle stoppers. So this increases the price of wine and the price of glass. Um, developments in bottle making have allowed wine producers to create bottles in more standardized size and as a result have been able to introduce the use of the bottle cork. This is a much more efficient way to seal in the wine than the old cloth stoppers and has meant that wine can now be transported over much farther distances than was previously possible. We're seeing the birth of a worldwide wine trade. Yeah, sure. Where are my ships? Are they already here? No, they're getting there. Do we really need more troops down here? I think I don't think so, actually. We'll just bring them back. Yes, it's fine. We're doing decent. Yeah, we're definitely doing decent. One on one, we can take these guys, no problem. Which is good. That's real good. We'll do this. My Yumba is now under our control. Bring these guys further. Ah, oh, New Holland has high liberty desire again. Sure. Placate the local rulers. New Holland is going to become a problem. I definitely need more ideas that allow me to go for a higher diplomatic reputation. Yeah, we'll actually be able to stack wipe them over here. So Liango is under our occupation. Okay, that's that. I think we'll just leave these guys siege down the capital. Uh, I think we'll send these guys down to take Soyo. Yeah, uh, Great Britain is maybe a little bit late. Oh, come on. They managed to get that one. I hope these guys rise up. They have no unrest, though. But still a chance that the colony gets destroyed. I mean, can't really blame the Brits trying to get there um so let's change that i will give this oh no it's already part of my um company that's okay and ziku is now under our control nice send these guys into mapangu 49 percent towards taking that capital so that's decent. Okay, and I will send these guys down here to Mbaba. Mamba. Mbamba. And we got that one. Let's move down here. Yeah, hey, we have native assimilation in Bonnie. I like it. And yeah, we fought their fleet again. 
They're not having a good time. They're gonna be they're gonna be fought down there again as well. Let's recruit an admiral. Oh yeah. <laughs> sure. We need someone in charge of the war fleet. So we might as well. This will probably see the end of their fleet. Tariffs on cotton. We're gonna tax it. I've, I've no idea how far the Congo actually goes. Yeah, we captured five ships. Um, three of those are trade ships. So... I'm gonna send all these guys um, back. Also got two more transport ships. That's fine. I'm just going to move on. I want to uh, pretty much carpet siege these guys. Get this done as quickly as possible. At the same time, we've got to be a little bit weary because at some point one of their armies will just appear out of the um, out of the gray mist. And we'll stand there with our... Like, yeah. Pants down. <laughs> So, nope. Holy hell! 40,000 separatists? You gotta be kidding me. Just like that? 40,000 separatists? And yeah, we're gonna have a bunch of separatism up there too. Oh man, that sucks. Could we not? If I gotta pull all these troops, that is gonna be nasty. Maybe I should just go for a peace deal here. Like I can, I can probably pull a ton of land. So if you if you just give me your coast, I will I will be kind of happy. Let's have a look at the states that we have down here. So that is one state, and that is a state, Dongo. So they're willing to give me Dongo as well. I can just go for a second war whenever I think it's time. Well... Um, yeah, let's take that. Okay, Genoa has been disbanded. Okay, guys, so... Come down. One of these guys come in here, one of these guys come in here, and we're just gonna ferry the whole army up north. Um, with 117% overextension, which is gonna be rough uh, for a little while. Almost done coring. Oh yeah, that might have been a tactical mistake, going for the peace treaty now. We have some separatists, which is pretty rough. Well, we'll fight them off. It's gonna be fine. Okay. Let's put these guys in the ships. We've got to fight them down. Bring our ships back into Benin. Been very aggressive here. Very aggressive. Do we want the river crossing at this point? I don't think so. Uh, we have a new trade fleet from New Flanders. Oh, these guys are actually running away. Really? I mean, I don't have a problem with that. I just gotta be a little bit careful. Um, stand watch at the borders. But yeah, that's definitely something. They belong to me, but apparently they're also gonna siege down lands that these guys have taken from noop so sure not about to help these guys i just i just think that forty thousand is maybe a bit ridiculous yeah commonwealth sure can, you can have access my boy i mean we're buddies right we're the best buddies in the world or well, maybe not quite bohemia how are we we're also buddies it's decent. Um, we lost our guy over here. Uh, relations improvement. 
I really want a Diplo rep guy. So why is that not a thing? Can we get a Diplo rep guy maybe? Do we want to seek support of the clergy? Yeah. Do we want to call a diet? Yeah. This is an improved relations dude. So probably not something that we want. If I grant these guys a monopoly charters, we're not going to be in a really good position, but at least trade efficiency is no longer going to be negative, which always sucks big time. Unrest, missionary strength. Hmm. Um, let's go ahead and take the improved relations, dude. That's fine. We have high fervor. Let's go for stability. Enable stability to reduce the unrest a little bit. It's probably going to be super helpful. And we'll just try to get the core ring done uh, down here. Kind of didn't really need to stop the war with the Congo so fast, but oh well. With Dutch particularists, again, 43,000 that are going to rise up. Gulf of Guinea. We could make it a state, but I I don't want to. No, we're fine. I'm going to give it to our trade company. It's going to be much better. Agricultural revolution. So, what we gain base tax in oil? Why, why oil? Okay, let's go for production then, I guess. Why is that a thing? Why do you have to give me production in oil? Yeah. <sighs> I can still give them to the trade company though, and then things are gonna be fine. We can build a ton of crap. Like we have three thousand. Actually, thinking about that, maybe. Yeah, I think we'll. I think we'll actually upgrade our trade fleet here to the newest um, thing. Put them into Amsterdam. Uh, we have particular risks in Friesland. Oh, these guys were standing in a province where they were taking attrition. That kind of sucks. Could we... Yeah, we could probably get better generals um, than, than Lawrence von Forst. It only costs me 22 military power, which at this point is like nothing. Yeah, much better. Jakob Brandt will take you. We'll kick the other two. Okay, with three fire leaders, which is nice, I guess. Okay, guys. Um, we're going to upgrade all of these to modern frigates, right? That's what the current state of the art is. Yeah, frigate. Um, heavy frigate, great frigate. No, that's a pretty good point in time. So they'll all be upgraded and then they, they got to get back to strength, but... At least we have 123 really modern ships. Um, trade power propagation is also something that the modern ships do much better than the old ones. Okay, very good. So our income will go down, obviously, because we're not protecting trade. Uh, converted the heretics of Garbon. Because we haven't like conquered these guys, but instead colonized them, we can change their religion, uh, their their um, culture, because we have no separatism. Almost done getting there. Just the coring. We'll get there. We have we have corruption growing. It's definitely not the greatest thing that we could have. Uh, we have oil separatists. Sure. Well, I should be able to smush these guys pretty easily like 10k yeah they're getting wrecked although they also have the 115 percent discipline cause this always copies <laughs> the setting of the country which is pretty weird uh we have separatists in soyo holy cow 39,000. i mean we have a very very high amount of Overextension, so it's not really all that helpful. I can't get over there, so I actually have to send these guys down via ship. 39,000. Crazy. I guess we have to actually increase the size of the colonial army, too. So 
we'll come down to Ngoyo. Well, luckily, this actually has a castle, so we won't get any separatism. Question is, where are these guys going to go to? There are rivers between these two provinces, so I guess I have to go to Ngoyo. Because there's no fort between those two. Let's see if we can actually take these guys out. I mean, might not happen. We're going through our manpower really fast. Okay, now we're actually crushing these guys. Come on, fire phase. Merchants resent it. Apparently citing disgust with Netherlands' endless wars of conquest, some trade nodes have excited to expel our merchants. Really, endless wars of conquest. I go for two wars and everyone hates me. Just saying, look at Trier. Look at what Trier is doing. And then we talk again. Okay, yeah, we're just wrecking face here. Very good. Infantry combat ability is definitely helping our troops to be competent. Cologne has annexed these guys. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, I'm not really a huge warmonger. Or maybe I am. Should probably let others be the judge of that. Let's train. I, If I'm gonna get an event where I can make these guys happy, I will. Whoa, I can ask them for 1,700 ducats. That's awfully nice. Just upgraded our entire trade fleet. Can still convert things, so yeah. Let's start with Jebu. Can't change the culture because separatism. So we're gonna wait 25 years, but that is fine. Could probably just accept that culture. Okay, so we took that back. Okay, a bunch of these guys have been integrated now, so our aggressive expansion, uh, our overextension is down, which in turn means that um, people around the world no longer hate us, which is pretty good, all things considered. I'm pretty happy about that. We have some Beninese guys. Oh, infiltration of New Spain, sure. Fort Ardenburg is now producing grain down here, right? Mm, these guys are prospering, which annoys me. There's nothing... Okay, Moravi is attacking these guys. I really want to stop um, Great Britain from going in there. We have to take this for ourselves. Kill one needs to be ours. For, for sure, for definite sure. So, can I... Cannot declare a war right now. I will start building a spy network and we'll see what we can do with it. I mean, if uh, if push comes to shove, I can always conquer my three way through the Congo into Kilwa, but um, that might not be necessary. But I want their gold provinces. I also really want Madagascar over here. Just to be able to use that as my jumping, uh, jumping board into the further east. For now, though, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why. And I hope I see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.